Entertainment Luxury. King Yellowman is a well known reggae performer from Jamaica. Winston Foster, his birth name was born in 1959 in Kingston, Jamaica. His stage moniker stemmed from his albino skin. He was abandoned by his parents, mocked on stage, chased away by producers, banned from the radio, and suffered skin damage. A doctor even informed him he would only survive another three years. Not many people could overcome all of these hardships, but King Yellowman did. Following Bob Marley's death in 1981, Yellowman rose to prominence as a reggae performer, and the new dancehall style he pioneered gained popularity. After successful tours in the United Kingdom and the United States, he signed a recording contract with CBS Columbia Records for his album, King Yellowman. Yellowman was the first dancehall musician to be nominated for a Grammy, he received two nominations, as well he's the first to collaborate with rap artists at the time such as Run DMC, NWA, Public Enemy, and Dougie Fresh. He was also presented with the key to Fort Lauderdale City. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 8 luxury buys of Yellowman. Before we start don't forget to poke that like button and subscribe. Number 1 Fashion, Yellowman, known for his extravagant stage attire, helped shape dancehall fashion. His colorful clothes and lavish accessories became associated with the genre. Dancehall music is the most powerful form of popular culture in Jamaica, from Kingston's urban ghettos to the country's rural regions. Yellowman apparel, hairstyles, and jewelry, which were originally solely worn to dancehall sessions, have now become everyday attire, inspiring designers locally and internationally. Dancehall fashion has evolved significantly throughout time. The days of patched or leather suits in a variety of colors, fishnet stockings, and bright wigs in the 1980s are over. The 1990s baggy masculine silhouette is also gone. Oh girl you can't do what the guys do. You know non still be a lady. Number 2 Band The Sagittarius Band was a group of session musicians that developed around Derek Barnett's bass playing talents. The Yellowman record emphasized the group's playing abilities, however the Sagittarius band is credited as Derek Barnett and Company. Following their success backing Yellowman, the trio accompanied the singer on his European tour, where the band's combined playing talents and dancing routines became legendary. They were regarded as the Roots Radix heirs, despite fierce competition from the High Times and Black Roots band. Yellowman continues to play globally with his Sagittarius band to this day. Number 3 Wedding, Yellowman after leading his daughter down the aisle, was still beaming with pride, and still enjoys reliving the special event. He talked to the gleaner about the ceremony, the devout family man told the gleaner. It was easy for me to accept Omar, his son-in-law, without question. He and my daughter were together from they were at kindergarten at Priory, but she never met me know. Her mother tell me the whole story, and then she tell me, and then Omar mother tell me. The whole family happy. My little granddaughter sprinkled the flowers down the aisle, and my grandson was the ring bearer, said the father of six, who has been married to his spouse Rosie, for a long, long time. Yellowman stated that he liked entertaining guests while delivering his speech as the bride's father. She's my first daughter, but my second child. The performer stated that he secured a large facility where everyone could socially isolate themselves. We are going on a summer holiday, do you want to come with me? Number 4 Surgery King Yellowman is well known for his impaired face, which resulted from a skin cancer diagnosis in 1982. He got the tumor removed, but a major portion of his jaw had to be removed during a surgery in 1986. Yellowman completed one album before being diagnosed with jaw cancer and was given six months to live. Following surgery, an extended leave of absence from Yellowman started. Though after six months he still was alive, and he returned with the song, Blueberry Hill, which relaunched his career. Number 5 Yellow Items In an interview with Jamaican Magazine, Yellowman said that yellow is his favorite color. Although he was frequently called names as an albino growing up, he claimed that he liked purchasing all sorts of yellow-colored products. Well I am albino, and I am a orphan, and I am 6 feet tall and everybody call me yellow man because I love the color yellow. I eat pineapple, and I eat ackee, mango and I love wear yellow clothes. Tell you, yellow man the girls love the most. Number 6 Gold The identities of dancehall DJs are surely memorable. They often portray toughness, stress sexual braggadocio, and exalt consumerism, which their predecessors in the 1970s rejected. Dancehall culture of the 1980s expressed materialism in attire, fashion, and music. Cars, clothing, residences, and, most significantly, jewelry were prominently displayed as symbols of riches. King Yellowman was Dancehall's first big worldwide hit. 
Yellowman celebrates his fondness for gold chains and fine jewelry in 1985's Walking Jewelry Store. As he mentions, na tell me bout na brass or na silver, na tell me bout na lead neither copper, a strictly gold chain a wemi prefer, ye no yellow man ye gold entertainer, strictly gold me where a dat me sure, na tell me seh me rich na tell me seh me poor. Number 7 Fitness Equipment, if you've ever seen yellow man perform live, you know he brings his everything into each act. At the age of 68, the Jamaican superstar is in peak physical condition. After seeing one especially intense performance in which he went on all fours and performed 20 push-ups before flexing and kissing his muscles. The original king of dancehall said his daily regimen includes push-ups, dumbbell exercises, leg hops, pull-ups. That's the reason why you see me on stage with that energy, Yellow Man explains. This is how I do it. Give me the morning ride. Number 8 United Kingdom Trip, Yellow Man announced a rare performance at the time in Brighton, United Kingdom. He performed at the Comedia. The concert was advertised as King Yellow Man and the Sagittarius Band plus backing from Samsara Collective. Samsara Collective is a Brighton-based band that takes an open-minded and innovative approach to traditional roots music. Their music pays homage to the genre's original creators while rejecting stylistic standards. The results were a fresh and hook-laden take on the style, changing the reggae sound into something completely new and thrilling, and has been characterized as a startlingly new angle on the Jamaican sound. Cosme say, whether you're white, or whether you're black, whether bald head, or whether dreadlock, whether day a bottom, or day pon top, you give thanks and praise on to Ja. This is the end of Top 8 Luxury Buys Yellow Man. Make sure to tap the like button, and subscribe, to see our next list. Bye for now.